Today we will see program 2 of unit 2. Open Visual Studio. Create new web application as we done in previous programs. Now as per program. Design a web page to take employee no, employee ID, employee name, username, password, confirm password, date of birth, gender, city, email, mobile number, experience years. Create new web form. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click on root. Then select add new item. Select Visual C Sharp as language and type as web form. You can change the name of the site as I am changing here as U2P2 then click on add. Go to design section. To make proper design we will use one table here as so for that go to the table menu. Then from box write 12 for rows and 3 for columns. Now you can resize table as you want. Add labels and text boxes to get values for the user. Put one button to submit the data. Now as per requirement we need to do validations as All fields are compulsory. For that we need to add required field validator beside every input control. Set its property as display as dynamic. For color as red to display it like error. Add text inside text attribute to display error message or you can also write the message inside error message attribute which will display in alert box. Then important property is control to validate. In this property we need to assign the ID of particular control so that it can connect with particular control. Now. Do same for all inputs. As question, imply D as EMP0001 first three characters EMP with four digits. So for that we need to use regular expression validator in this control we need to set its text property or error message property as enter ID as EMP0001. Set its property as display as dynamic. You can change text color also. Then control to validate in this property we need to assign the ID of particular control so that it can connect with particular control. Now set. Set focus on error as true so control will immediately pass to the particular control where user will enter data. That was same property for all validations. Write expression inside validation expression as emp backslash d4 to validate data in following manner. Name should contain only alphabets. Take regular expression validator set properties as we done in previous validation. Set validation expression as az az asterisk to validate data as only alphabets. Minimum length of password should be a 
Again take regular expression validator set properties as we done in previous validation. Set validation expression as caret. Dollar validate data as minimum 8 characters. For confirm password use. Compare validator. Set its property as text as password should be same as above. Set control to compare attribute as ID of previous control and. Set control to validate attribute as ID of current control. Birth date should be between 1985 and 2000. Again take. Validator set. Set type as date and Set minimum value value as 1 January 1985 and maximum value as December 31st, 2000 City compulsory Ahmedabad Set initial value of required validator as select city And put compare validator Set value to compare as Ahmedabad Email should be in valid format Again take regular expression validator. Set validation expression as internet email address from drop down. Mobile number should have exactly 10 digits. Again take regular expression validator. Set validation expression as carat backslash D10 for phone number. Experience years between 2 to 10. Take one range validator. Set type as integer. Set its minimum value as 2 and maximum value as 10. Give demo of validation summary. Put one validation summary control. If you set show message box as true then it will display all error inside alert box. And if you set show summary as true then it will display all error inside one area. You can set display mode as list, bullet list, or single paragraph as format of errors. Now you can debug the program. And check the all validation.